Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and Die Hard. By now, there's nothing secret about the 2015 Ford Mustang or the fact that there's a new Shelby GT350 right around the corner. But before we saddle up that high strung steed and being that the current warm weather is perfect for it, we thought we'd take a more relaxed trot in a Ford Mustang GT convertible. Yes, for 2015, Ford launched an all new Mustang. One that brought more performance and better road manners, as well as improvements in both fuel economy and interior refinement to the original pony car. Of course, an all new, more progressive look was part of the package as well. And while the sheet metal of this convertible Mustang may appear exactly the same as the hardtop, Ford had to massage most of the body panels to make that illusion happen. Top off, we found the results somewhat mixed. The majority of that tweaking is in the rear, naturally, where the trunk lid and rear quarters are significantly reshaped. Still, the sharper top just doesn't integrate nearly as well as the coupe's fastback. Top down, our objections disappear. Things return to nicely normal at the sleeker front end with the big horse corral grille in center, flanked by slender headlights and signature three gill LEDs. Wheels on this GT Premium are 18-inch alloys, but some of our staff didn't think the machined finish went well with the ruby red metallic paint. The top is insulated multi-layer fabric. While power operated, there's still a manual header release. The top forms its own tonneau cover with detachable side boots to cover the hardware. As for the 2 plus 2 interior, not much changes from the coupe. Still the same well thought out blend of a classic layout with modern necessities. The seat belts do come out from the B pillars much lower, of course, and the seat back mounted retention loops leave little room for adjustment. While some of our crew found them uncomfortable, it varied widely from driver to driver. And we're not sure if it's all the additional light being let in or the fact that interior quality from all brands seems to be escalating at a rapid pace, but materials don't seem quite as impressive as they did when we tested the coupe just last year. And we still would like to see the center stack toggles mounted higher. Our tester also came saddled with the Select Shift 6 speed automatic. It works well, but there's just not as much emotional connection to this car when the Trans is calling its own shots. No complaints about the 5 liter V8 under the hood or its 435 horsepower. It's not the torquiest block in town at 400 pound feet, but it is one V8 that likes to rev. Off the line throttle modulation is the key and once you get past 3000 RPM, things really start to get fun. We hit 60 in 5.2 seconds with a quarter mile passing in 13.5 seconds at 107 miles per hour. Both numbers about half a second off the V8 manual coupe we tested before. A 117 foot average stopping distance from 60 was great, but fade did start creeping in after four or five runs. As for handling, once you get used to the Mustang's tendencies with both over and understeer available, it feels smaller than its size and displays minimal body roll. Steering is direct, accurate, and has a nice weight to it. Top down cruising at a more relaxed pace, we found wind levels to be quite acceptable. And except for some occasional creaking over bumps, it proved to be a very pleasant driving car. No doubt it's the tightest feeling Mustang convertible yet. Still, it falls short of most European convertibles and there was a bit more cow shake than expected. Government fuel economy ratings for the five liter auto are 15 city, 24 highway and 18 combined. So our average of 20.4 miles per gallon of regular was better than expected. Still, the energy impact score is below average at 18.3 barrels of oil consumption and 8.1 tons of CO2 emissions yearly. You can get into a Mustang convertible for as little as $29,925, which is not bad providing you want the V6. 
but stepping up to the V8 GT will cost you $42,425. Our tester was pushing 50 grand. Convertible pony cars are always a compromise. For us, the coupe formula is clearly the best, but we do admit they do make you look and feel cool. So while the 2015 Ford Mustang convertible has lost a little prowess in the translation from hardtop to soft top, for those that like to do their relaxed weekend cruising and big engine muscle, this is the one great horse to ride in on.